Hey you guys, I am back um, and ready to do another vlogging to give you guys an update on how my prep is going. Um, it's actually been three weeks since the last time I posted a video. Uh, not too much have changed. We are still pretty far away from the game. Um, when I said that we started prep um, 22 weeks out this time around, where last time was about 12 weeks, uh, the main focus of this was to just be able to be on the mindset of prep um, earlier than last time. Um, last prep was my la my first prep. I didn't know what to expect. Everything was relatively new for me. And this time around, um, we know what we're doing, kind of. We know what to expect. We know where we need to be. Last time, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last videos, I didn't vlog at the end of my prep, but I lost 20 pounds, which in prep, when you talk about prep, it is not a lot for a lot of people, but for me it was a huge change in 12 weeks. Um, and for me it was like a big step, I didn't feel, as, as crazy as it sounds, I didn't feel like losing more weight was okay for me like my mindset was like I am extremely lean which I wasn't for stage but for my for what I was expecting I saw my body trans transform completely and I was pretty happy but at the same time I think I underestimate this stage because you see people on stage they're leaner than your average person uh, before that I just I was just at one show watching, prejudging, and you can't really see the level of leanness over there from where I saw it. So when I lost 20 pounds, I thought that that was enough, maybe. Um, obviously it wasn't. I was, a, I was one of the less conditioned people on stage, which is fine with me. But the fact that I didn't want to push past that, um, it was a little bit scary to lose so much weight and the main reason was because we always hear about the rebound and the regain of weight and I was like if I lose so fast you know I'm a personal trainer I help people achieve their goals not on the stage level but just on a healthy matter and I know that if you lose weight way too fast it's very easy to rebound so all those mental setbacks uh, play uh, not in my favor but against me so I lost 20 pounds and uh, I felt great, not stage ready, but great. So during the off season, my coach and I were talking about what I really wanted to do and I, I really want to continue this as a sport. I am, my eyes are a little bit more open to what really is, what's really needed from me. Um, and that, you know, being, having a good, overall body for um, as a healthy body it's not the level of leanness that you need in order to compete with that being said now we are 20 weeks out cardio it's minimal um, I my calories so this time around okay so this time around we are trying to keep the calories up as high as possible for the long the longest uh, so my calories haven't changed, so we're not expecting a lot of weight drop more than one pound a week. So far, I've lost two pounds, so it's about two weeks. We're right on track. We put a little bit of muscle through the off season, um, especially on my legs. My legs tend to get really, really skinny when I diet or when I lose weight. So I was lifting and lifting and lifting two leg days a week. I was always sore great i've never worked my legs so hard in my life because before i was that person skipping leg day every time so that's that's a game for me that's a game in my books um we still work legs twice a week uh, we are training five times a week so two rest days and so far that's all we're doing we my calories are pretty high i am having about 150 grams of carbs every day we are not I'm just 5'4 see that's another thing that I'm gonna touch base into like a lot of people get 
caught up on the calories and macros you need to take in consideration that some people are taller than you some people have more muscle than you I do not have as much as need amount of muscle and I am 5'4 so carbs are not as high but 150 grams of carbs for being a prep I'm not complaining about that it's a lot of food for me um, I personally love protein and fats more than carbs anyways as crazy as it sounds uh, so with that being said um, my protein is pretty high about 180 and my fats are staying a little bit low because as much as I love fats they don't always work in my favor um, so for now that's what we're working with we haven't changed made too many changes in the diet I am trying to stay out of pre-workout so I can use it when I need it um, Coffee's always on the menu. I'm trying to drink some tea and really get into the habit of drinking more water because during my off season, I was very, very busy with work, new projects that I'm taking on and there was definitely no water, high water consumption like it should have. So that's what we're working with. I From now on, we're gonna start doing more changes, making more changes, so I'll be posting more probably once a week. Um, if there's any questions you guys have about prep, if this is your first prep, I'll be talking about bikini, um, your, your suit, what you need for the show, the type of workouts according to your body type, and if you have any questions, you can just comment down below, and I'll make sure that I address that. Um, me as a personal trainer, I have videos and information I do for my clients based on what they need. So I wouldn't mind doing a couple for you guys if you have any specific questions. Um, it's always nice to help and you know when I first started getting into fitness and you know trying to get in shape, I don't know if you, you guys saw my previous videos but uh, during college I gained a lot of weight. It was very hard to find. Uh, the first one that I found obviously was bodybuilding.com where I got a lot of info and then I got into like the fitness lifestyle kind of thing. But I feel like in you, people can benefit a lot from YouTube videos and there's not as many as people think. Like when I first started competing, I would like look for as many as I could. So if I can be of any help, that will make me feel great. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another video.